Hi, I'm Ilka Oster. And I'm Joe Drennan. Welcome back to our relationship series. And we're talking about opening your heart today. What is that, Joe? What's that about, opening your heart? It's a little bit scary, a little bit scary, coming from personal experience, having lived the majority of my life with a closed heart. And by that I mean protected, you know, protect, protect me and, and being a little bit fearful of uh, yeah. engaging wholeheartedly with, with the outside world and those around me. Mm, and what was that like, living like that? Le uh, well, I, I know now because I've seen the differences and uh, um, it's, it's an amazing difference to live your life with an open heart because I have brilliant relationships where I can truly be me. Yeah, like as in, say what you want to say. So, yeah, so say, speak my truth uh, uh, caringly and, and kindly, but uh, yeah, be me and, and speak up and be have the courage to be vulnerable mm. and, and to be real. Yeah, and what when you say speak your truth, like what does that mean? Like what? What does that feel like for you, or what's that like for you? Well, in it, well, the opposite of that that I've noticed, and this can be um, in simple situations, every day in conversations. When in the past, when I haven't spoken my truth, I feel like it's a, it's a little bit of shutting down in a, inside, a little bit of dying inside every time I do that, and mm. I, I, I'm really aware of it now, and uh, and I. Um, I don't do it anymore, I, I rarely do it. So what steps did you take, if someone's experiencing this, what steps did you take to become more open hearted and to um, be able to speak more from who you are? Well, what your truth is. Well, it's, it's all about self love and uh, I think if you can find some very, some wonderful people to be around and, and start to share a little because uh, one of the key things I did in life was uh, go to a women's circle, um, a very, very small one and, uh, and very trusted circle of women. And in the beginning, I went in, um, I was very closed hearted. I actually didn't even want them to hug me, stuff like that. And, uh, and they'll freak me out because there's all these open-hearted women willing to share. So so slowly I would share each each week, just slowly a little bit of me, a little bit of me. And they just kept accepting, 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 no judgment. So I'd open up more and more and more. That took me, uh, really, that was two years. Mm. And I think that like that's such a good point because I think that the reason that we learn to not speak our truth and to not be open-hearted is that from a young age we have been, you know, uh, not like not felt. Our, our feeling is that we're not accepted. You know that there's certain ways of being um, in our families or when we go off to school. There's certain ways of being that are are accepted, and we have to be like that. So we start to learn how to not be ourselves. Yeah, learn, you know? learn the behaviour that's required to fit in. Yes, that's yes. it. That's yes. it. So just yeah, going to a group like that, or or just taking time for yourself. It's really taking time for yourself. Understand mm. your yourself, and that I could feel it every time I did it. I could feel it in my gut every time, but I didn't understand what that was back then. Now I know and I recognise it really, really easily. But usually there's some sign in your body, perhaps even your throat. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So so listen to the signs. Notice what's going on in your body. Yeah. And yeah, you can tell if you're not being true to yourself through how you feel in your body. And you and and know that you can move past that. That's the important message I think that we want to get out is that you can move past that. Yes, change is always possible. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'd love to hear what your experience has been with this. Have you uh, felt you couldn't speak your truth in your life and, or felt closed hearted? Yeah, and, uh, and have you noticed it and made any changes? Uh, we're, bo we're both uh, avid researchers but have come to realise that you have to actually put that research into action if you want to see change. Yeah, you have to yeah. do it yourself. Yeah. You, do. you have to do it. You have to live it. 
And love, we'd love to hear what your um, experience has been with this. How did you make changes? Cool. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. See you and next time. Inspire, inspire someone, someone today. today.